Hello, my name is Sean Bodley. I'm with Advanced Technical Skills located in Dallas, Texas, and I am an IBMer. Today I will be demonstrating live partition mobility between a Power 6 server and a Power 7 server. The first screen that you see here is an overview of our environment. I will actually come back to that later and explain it in more detail. What you see in front of you is on the left side two HMC screens. On the top left is a System Mercury, which is our Power 6 server. Underneath that is a System Titan, which is our Power 7 server. And this environment is running SAP in a Power HA for AIX clustered environment. What we have on the right hand side is LPARMON, which is a monitoring utility that shows performance of the system. In the middle, we have an SAP load generator. This will actually create a system load during the move. At the bottom is just AIX login screens to both systems that we have, both partitions, SAP Demo 1 and 2. What you can see here is I've already pulled up the model types of each system and the serial number and showing that it's the same. Once it moves over to the Power 7 system, you will see that this serial number and model number changes to reflect the Power 7 system. I'm going to go ahead and start a load through the SAP load generator. And you can see on the far right hand side that LPARMON is reflecting that the system is busy. SAP Demo 1 is the system that we will be, the, uh, we will be moving between the two systems. So I will click back onto the HMC where SAP Demo 1 is located on Mercury. I will choose Operations, Mobility, and Migrate. Now what is appearing here is the Migration Wizard. So I will just skip through these quickly. Profile name, you can choose a different name. I prefer to keep the profile name the same on the destination system. In our environment, the two systems are not sharing the same HMC. So we will use the remote migration option for HMC, which is SAHMC1. And on the destination HMC, it sees only one system, Titan. So we will leave it on Titan. Then it will perform a validation to make sure that everything that is required on the destination system, all the, fulfill, all the requirements are fulfilled. And if any errors are detected, then those errors will need to be corrected before a migration can continue. In our case, it's just a warning about the slot number. It's not uncommon that the slot number and or partition ID will change during a migration. I am going to accept all the defaults on the following screens. And now when I click Finish, I will start performing the migration. Now in previous tests, this migration has taken roughly five to six minutes to perform. You can see on the top right hand side that we still have a load running on SAP Demo 1. There's roughly five and a half gig of memory in use currently. If I refresh the SAP load generator, you can see that our number of objects continues to increase. This tells me that the load is still running. 
on actual SAP Demo 1, we can see that both the processes of SAP and Oracle are running. DW is the uh, key process names for SAP. And then I can also check for Oracle processes running. So those are still running. While this migration is in progress, what I will do is ping the key service address for the SAP application and let that run. When the migration gets ready to cut over, there's roughly a two second delay. And on SAP Demo 1, what I'm going to ha have continue to run is just a little loop that will show us the uname and serial number and we can witness that it will actually change. Okay, now that is running, we can still see the model numbers. And while this is running, I'll come back and explain more about our actual environment. In our environment, we do have a, a Power 6570 and a Power 7770. The actual picture shown on the left-hand side is actually a picture of a Model 780 instead of a 770. In the center here, you can see the levels that we are running. <clears throat> the reason why we are running these are exact versions is we had a customer requirement for a proof of concept to demonstrate that we could perform this operation both with live partition mobility and a PowerHA cluster given their exact software levels. So what we have here is AIX 5.3 TL11 SP2, PowerHA 5.5 SP4, SAP ECC 5.0, Oracle 10.204, our VIOS is 2.1.2.10 Fixed Pack 22, and our HMC levels are, vers are V7 R7 101. We have a shared DS4800 storage unit, and as shown in the picture, each system has their own individual HMC. This next picture shows an overview of our VIO environment. We do actually have dual VIOs per physical server, both in the Power 6 and the Power 7. However, to show all four VIO servers between the two systems made this chart even more of a mess than what it currently is. All this is really representing is that we do truly have dual connectivity and redundancy between all the LUNs, and that each server does have access to each LUNs and the root VG in an, in an effort to fulfill the requirements needed for live partition mobility. Then the next slide is just showing our Ethernet environment, our virtual Ethernet. On our actual end user client systems of SAP Demo 1 and 2, we have one logical interface of EN0. That is the key administrative address and also host the service address for the SAP application. But behind the scenes through the VIO servers, we do have physical redundancy by using Ethernet adapters in each VIO server and also using the shared Ethernet architecture. So with that, I will go back and we will check progress on our migration. 
migration is showing 89% complete. I can refresh our SAP load generator, see that our number has continued. We still have a workload going if you look at the CPU usage on El Parmon on the top right hand side. You can also see the progress indicator through the HMC status. We still have our pings running. I like to run the ping because it also gives us an idea of how long it's running. We've been running close to five minutes currently. And once we hit the 99% progress indicator, it's right around that point that we'll actually see the two second cutover to complete the move between the two systems. And on Titan here, you can see that it's already created the partition profile, SAP Demo 1, and it tells us it's in the progress in the uh, status of migrating. I will refresh our SAP generator again. El Parmon still showing we're busy. We're a little bit past the six minute mark now. And now we're at the 99% mark. We should be able to see, that we've already seen that the system name has changed. I actually, if we back up here for a second. Right here, you can see the changeover of when it changed between the Power 6 and the Power 7 server. You can see that the serial number has been updated. And El Parmon still says everything is busy. And I can still check on the running system and see that the SAP and Oracle processes are running. So now we're about to finish the cutover. And now you can see that it has changed from the migrating status to the running status on Titan, and that we now have the 100% complete. So the migration is completed, and now the workload is running over on the Power 7 server. And that does it for today's demonstration. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at sbodily at us.ibm.com.